For next year, in the local equity market, we are seeing more attractive opportunities in the non-cyclical names. In fact, we are expecting that the non-cyclical securities will outperform those securities which have a tendency of a more cyclical nature. In the local corporate bond spectrum, with the current interest rate scenario and also with the accommodative monetary policy, we believe that there will be more companies from different sectors that will try to tap the primary market, even some of them for the very first time. It is important when one invests in this asset class to be selective and also choosing corporate names which have better qualitative ratings. Inflation expectations have been low, but not as much as market implied measures have been showing us. Inflation has been so low due to low wage growth despite a tight labor market and because of weaker corporate pricing power. At this moment, it is rather inexpensive to hedge for possible future inflation, which can be brought about by further trade disputes, more protectionist measures, fiscal easing, and the possibility of wage growth. 11 trillion euro worth of debt is currently trading at negative yields. Low inflation expectations and concerns about global growth have fueled the Japanification team within developed markets. Increasing leverage will be a key risk for 2020, so a quality search for yield should be a winning strategy for the upcoming year. Yield pickup opportunities still exist within the investment grade market. However, a careful sector and credit rating selection would provide the best value for investment. The European equity market delivered double-digit returns in 2019, despite it failed to meet analysts' ex expectations in terms of earnings growth. This exceptional performance was mainly driven by PE rating on the back of lower discount rates. I think that this will not drag on going forward as markets are expected to redirect their focus on earnings growth. In my opinion, those companies and sectors that have good earnings visibility and low sensitivity to earnings downgrade shall be rewarded going forward. Going into 2020, the recent uh, surge in sterling, which was caused by a decreasing prob probability of having an ordeal Brexit, could be halted by weaker economic fundamentals in the UK, uh, negative fields, and the Bank of England's next move, which could be a rate cut. Volatility in the euro dollar is expected to remain low going into 2020, yet the dollar might lose ground versus the euro to reduce the misalignment in the fundamental differentials between US and uh, Europe.